Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Today we'll be looking at uh, tokenization of assets in the construction industry. I know this may be new to a lot of construction professionals, but tokenization is transforming industries by introducing new ways of owning and investing in assets. One industry where this innovation holds significant potential is construction. From making high value assets accessible to smaller investors to streamlining project financing. Tokenization is shaping uh, is reshaping the way construction companies think about capital and ownership. All right, so let's break down what tokenization actually means. Uh, think of it as converting ownership or stakes of a physical asset into digital tokens on a blockchain. These tokens act like uh, digital certificates uh, representing a share of that asset, whether it's uh, real estate, construction equipment, or even future revenue from a project. So um, imagine your own high-end office building uh, worth $10 million. Traditionally, if you wanted investors, you'd have to sell the whole thing or a significant portion. But with tokenization, you can split the ownership into 1 million tokens. Each represents 0.0001% of the building's value. Now, instead of uh, searching for a single mega investor, you can sell tokens to hundreds or thousands of investors. It's like turning the skyscraper into a million little pieces of investment pie. So, why this matter in construction is that this can be a game changer. Suddenly, projects that were uh, once only available to deep-pocketed investors are now accessible to smaller investors globally. And uh, it uh, decentralizes the investment process and gives construction uh, companies a new way to raise capital. And uh, these tokens can be bought and sold or traded easily and globally. So, tokenization can be applied to so many different areas within the construction industry. It's not about, it's not just about building, it's about everything of value. Let's uh, break down, let's break this down um, into uh, four key categories. The first is uh, real estate tokenization. You could tokenize ownership of a real estate property instead of selling an entire apartment complex to one buyer. You sell tokens representing fractional ownership so an investor in London can own a tiny portion of a skyscraper in New York and another in Tokyo can own part of a housing project in Lagos. And also, um, we have project tokenization. Here's one form one. Imagine a construction company uh, building a new resort. Instead of waiting years for revenue, they can tokenize the project itself. Investors can buy tokens representing future profit or rental income. So instead of taking out a massive loan, the company gets funding directly from small scale investors all over the world. And uh, also we have um, equipment tokenization. A construction company often uh, need expensive machinery like cranes or bulldozer. Instead of owning or leasing equipment, what if um, investors could purchase tokens representing fractional ownership of that machinery? For example, a group of small contractors could collectively own a crane, each holding a percentage of the asset, making high-cost machinery more accessible. And also we have uh, uh, contractual uh, documents uh, and uh, intellectual property tokenization. As the word imply, it's just tokenization of contractual documents like architectural designs and uh, all of that. Smart contracts for project milestone and payments as you can see on my slide. So. Why, why this matter is that it's all about flexibility. Construction companies can tap into new funding, uh, new funding streams uh, and uh, reduce costs and other investors uh, will have an opportunity to diversify their portfolios with ease. So why bother with tokenization at all? 
Well, the benefits are huge. So we'll be looking at uh, uh, liquidity and access to um, capital. Think about it. Real estate is generally a pretty liquid asset. If you want to sell, uh, if you want to sell a building, it's not like selling a stock. It takes months or even years, but with tokenization, you can sell fractions of that asset quickly, like shares on the stock market. For example, a construction firm developing a new shopping complex can sell tokens upfront to gather funds instead of waiting for the entire project to be sold. This is a big deal. Investors then need millions of dollars to own a piece of a lucrative project. They can simply buy tokens for instead of buying a two, a, a two million piece of construction equipment you can buy two hundred dollars worth of tokens representing part of that machinery that is um and then we have easier transfer of assets uh through digital platforms as you can see and also we have enhanced transparency uh, blockchain ensures immutable records for project funding and uh, management and also you can see improve efficiency as it automates smart contracts and reduce paperwork and administrative uh, cost. And also we have uh, um, global accessibility with tokenization borders don't matter. Investors from anywhere can put money into construction projects across uh, across the globe uh, a, a property developer in dubai can receive funding from retail investors in canada singapore or brazil all thanks to blockchain intermediary uh, i mean sorry all thanks to blockchain uh technology and then we have reduced intermediaries fewer middlemen mean lower fees and faster processes so, um, why this matter is that tokenization doesn't just increase efficiency, it completely transforms how projects are funded and managed. So, now, how do this token actually work? It's simple but brilliant. Here's the process. We have ownership representation. And um, before we look at buying and selling tokens, let's, well, somebody might be asking, oh, what, what does ownership representation uh, means? It's just like I've explained, I wanted to go, um, you know, I wanted to move quickly, but uh, some of us might be, might take it a little bit slower. So I will sing it again and say each token uh, represents a specific portion of an asset. So, for example, if a $50 million skyscraper is broken down into 5 million tokens, each token represents 0.001% of the building. Whoever holds the token owns that share. Simple, right? Uh, if, if, if you understand this concept, it's, it's, it tells you how the future of investment and the future of uh, construction is going to be so interesting. And I'm here to um, herald this into your ears to hear that we are going into some amazing times in the future. So, uh, talking about buying and selling tokens, here's where it gets exciting. Investors can buy, sell, or trade these tokens on various blockchain marketplaces, just like stock. So, if someone needs quick cash, you don't have to sell the entire stake, just a portion of their, to of their token. Wow, uh, this should be blowing someone's head right now that we're going into amazing times, right? And also we have smart contracts for payment distribution. Smart contracts are like uh, automated contracts built into the blockchain. Let's say the tokenized asset is a rental property. Whenever rent is collected, the smart contract can automatically distribute the revenue to token holders based on their ownership percentage. No middleman, no delay, just pure efficiency. So, um, imagine you've bought token worth $2 of a newly belt when the hotel starts generating revenue. You receive your share of the profit directly in your wallet thanks to smart contracts. Isn't that, 
Isn't this, isn't this, oh, mind blowing? It is mind blowing for me though. And also we'll be looking at the challenges and the risks. It's just going to be a quick one as we wrap up this part one. We'll be looking at part two. We'll be looking at a series of case studies and uh, when we get there, you're going to see. So the challenges and risks of this is uh, regulatory uncertainty. So since token assets often resemble security, they must comply with regulations. For instance, a token offering might be subject to SEC regulations in the United States. Company must adhere to uh, know your customer, which is KYC, and anti-money laundering laws to avoid legal issues. And also, we have um, security uh, concerns. So potential vulnerability in smart contract, the risks of hacking and unauthorized access. And um, we have uh, market uh, volatility, which uh, the value of tokenized assets may, may, may fluctuate based on the cryptocurrency market. A token linked to a construction project may lose value if the crypto market crashes, potentially leaving investors at a loss. And also we have technical, uh, technical barriers. Um, it's, it, it requires um, technological literacy and infrastructure. That is why I'm singing it to your ears now to ensure you get into this before you know, start understanding cryptocurrency because it is the future of finance. By addressing these challenges thoughtfully, uh, construction companies can leverage tokenization as a powerful tool to raise capital, distribute ownership, and involve a more diverse group of investors in their project. Tokenization is, is, is not just a technological trend but a strategic opportunity to modernize the construction industry. So I'll see you in the next part two and we look at some case study. Have a nice day.